Welcome, problem solving fans, to another problem of the day. And this one is about Sam and Zach spending some money. Sam spends a quarter of her money. Zach spends 90% of his money. They each have £60 left. How much more money did Zach have at the start than Sam? Well, we can answer this using a bar model. So let's think about it. So Sam spends a quarter of her money. So the first thing we would need to do is draw a bar which is split into quarters. And she is spending a quarter. So we'll scribble out a quarter of that, one out of four quarter. But it says she has £60 left. So the rest of it that she's not spent must add up to £60. But there's three pieces left. So if there's three pieces left that add up to £60, if you split that £60 into three, each piece must be worth £20. But also the piece that she spent must also be worth £20. Now that leaves you with the conclusion that she must have started with £80 because four lots of 20 is £80. So at the start, Sam had £80. Now, Zach spent 90% of his money. So what we're going to do now is we're going to draw a bar going up to 100%. So the whole bar is 100%. And what we really need to do is split this into 10 pieces, 10% in each piece. Now, if he spent 90%, then that means he spent 9 pieces, because 10 lots of 10% would be 100%, so 90% is 9 pieces. But he also has £60 left. So this bar on the end, this final bar on the end here, must be worth £60. Well, that means every one of his bars is worth £60, and he's got 10 bars. So he must have 10 lots of £60 at the start. And 10 times 60 is £600. So he must have started with £600. Now what we need to do now is read the very final sentence. How much more did Zach have at the start than Sam? Well, what we're saying is that Zach had £600. And we're saying that Sam started with 80 pounds so we're trying to say how much more is 600 than 80 well what we'll solve this for is is a very very quick column method so 600 take away 80 we need to find the difference most of you can probably do it in your head but if you can't let's just double check zero take zero is zero zero take away eight you can't do so borrow 10 take away eight is two and five take away nothing is five so the final answer is five hundred and twenty pounds. Five hundred and twenty. Zach had five hundred and twenty pounds more than Sam at the start.